Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on model testing of a centrifugal pump. But before that, to understand some basic concepts related to model testing, please refer my previous video and the link is given in the description box. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A one-fifth scale model of a pump was tested in a laboratory at 1000 RPM. The head developed and the power input at the best efficiency point were found to be 8 meter and 30 kilowatt respectively. If the prototype pump has to work against a head of 25 meter, determine the working speed the power required to drive it and the ratio of the flow rates handled by the two pumps. So this was the given question. We will first understand the given data. So here scale is given as a one fifth. So we can take here it is the ratio of linear dimension of model and prototype. So here linear dimension we will take as a diameter D. So for model and prototype that is dm by dp which is equal to 1 by 5. So how we can find out the value of dp by dm. So dp by dm is 5 by 1. Then for model the values are given speed of model 1000 rpm that is nm. Then head of model hm is 8 meter. Then power of model 30 kilowatt. And the head of prototype is given 25 meter. So now we will move for the first question. So first question is speed of prototype. So speed of prototype that means we have to find out the value of NP. Then we have one formula. So this formula we can say condition that we have to satisfy for the model testing. So here root H divided by DN of model which is equal to root H divided by DN of prototype. So we will split this. So root HM divided by DMNM which is equal to root HP divided by DPNP. So we have to find out the value of this NP. So now this is in the denominator. So we will shift this term to the other side so that it will become in the numerator. So when I shift this term NP to the left hand side then all this term to, we have to shift to the other side. So here under root of HP divided by under root of HM. Then here this dm will goes in the numerator. So dm by dp and this nm will goes in the numerator which is into nm. So when I put all the values then it is easy for us to calculate. So it is 353.5 rpm. So here unit is rpm because this nm is also in rpm. So we have to keep in mind that we have put here value nm in rpm. So here is also unit in rpm. Then the next question is the power developed by prototype. That means here we have to find out PP. So again we have one formula in terms of power. That is P divided by D raised to 5 N cube of model which is equal to P divided by D raised to 5 N cube of prototype. Now again we will split this. So PM divided by. So if I split this how it will become. So PM divided by dm raised to 5 n m raised to 3 which is equal to pp divided by dp raised to 5 np raised to 3. So now we have to find out this pp. So now we will shift all this term to the left hand side that is denominator terms to the left hand side then it will move to the numerator. So how it becomes so it will become dp by dm raised to 5 dp by dm raised to 5 then this np by nm raised to 3 because here this uh, power is same so we can take here the ratio multiplied by pm as it is which is equal to pp so when i take now dp by dm so dp by dm is 5 by 1 that is 5 raised to 5 np by nm so np is 353.5 divided by nm is 1000 raised to 3 so first we will calculate this and we will take here power raised to 3 multiplied by 30 which is equal to pp so pp is equal to 4143 kilowatt now what is the next question so next question is ratio of flow rates so flow rates means what that is the discharge so we have to 
find out the ratio of discharge that is we have to find out qp by qm so how to find out this so again we have one formula that is q divided by d cube n of model which is equal to q divided by d cube n of prototype so again in the same way we have to split this formula and we have to take here the ratio qp by qm so we have to shift this d cube n that is dp cube into np to the left hand side and we have to find out this so please find out this answer and please comment in the comment box and you can find its answer in the description box also to cross verify this